Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, two weeks after the Rainbow High Rainbow Vision season three finale, I feel like it's a good time after a lot of reflection and time that has passed to talk about potential reasons and points as to why Rainbow High season three at the end there really sucked and flopped hard. It really did not end on the high point that it started out to be so in this video let's take a look at five points that i think really contributed to the overall demise that turned out to be rainbow high season three so let's get into first it first point is that it could have just focused on pacific coast you know that spin-off line that is now apparently canceled just like shadow high could be canceled next year if series two doesn't do too well yeah kind of repeating itself here rainbow high bringing out these spin-off lines of schools and then they're not doing well enough they introduce them in a show and then they just do nothing anymore with the characters so they could have done something with pacific coast high and maybe sales would have gone up again as you know kids would have seen more of the characters and grew grow attached more to the characters therefore buying more of the dolls i don't know i just feel like that could have helped a little bit you know if we got more episodes with pacific coast high which you know recap we only got one proper episode which wasn't even its own thing it was part of season three and then um it never went anywhere <laughs> of course we still have the characters of pacific coast high you know participating in rainbow vision but even then the most we got is phaedra being a uh what the the the, the host no not the host but she was like the spokesperson you know like with violet that's 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 the most we got and paris hilton was one of the judges she's talked in the end at the finale and she talked in the first episode and maybe i think in like an in-between i'm not even sure i think she talked at the beginning <laughs> and the first episode and she talked in the finale kind of ironic like uh, both at the start and at the end so they yeah so pacific coast if they had focused on all those characters that they had set up um you know, even the uh, little tease at the end there at episode one, if they had done something with that, I feel like, um, and not even like, you know, I'm not saying like whole season Pacific Coast, but they could have at least given Pacific Coast like a, a fair shot, like with a couple of episodes, I will say like maybe five would have been a good amount. And um, that would have been great. But, but no, it didn't go anywhere. And uh, that kind of, I feel like them really only uh, giving Pacific Coast one episode to really... I guess introduce the characters and that's it i think that really did not help pacific coast overall as a doll line to do well in its own um way so i feel like they really did not help <laughs> so i feel like if they had only concentrated on pacific coast it would have helped not only the brand and the dolls and sales but also the characters because as of right now oh yeah harper i forgot Girl, Harper, she went MIA. She went full on, straight up missing in action, girl. She had, <laughs> she left the classroom of songwriting and she never came back. She got kidnapped. She she got mold or something. She She's gone forever. <laughs> R.I.P. Harper too. <laughs> girl, I forgot about her. That's literally how forgettable these characters are. I'm so sorry. I love him, but like we need, we needed more character development and we did not get that and it's just it's such a shame because it could have been something okay, second point is the rival school shadow high and project eclipse now shadow high when it got revealed even before when we got those teasers remember on, on instagram they're uh not non-official it was not official yet because they weren't verified or something but it wasn't official we didn't know if it was like legit like uh, like mga or if it was like just like a hoax you know like a, pr a prank or like fakes from that someone made we didn't know at first if this instagram page that claimed to be official shadow high if that was legit legit because we really did not know we had so little information we only had these listings to go by and these uh early leaks so it was really i remember those days we were in a dark like literally in the shadows girl um and then it turned out to be legit and then everyone went crazy over these shadow high uh you know glitched up images of the dolls and then they um got hyped up for the new season and boom in the second episode they got introduced um with you know the cliffhanger of luna having a you know twin sister called um no not <laughs> sunny <laughs> i got mixed up already sunny having a secret twin sister that goes to a rival school and they're all plus in grayscale so it's it's like they had that x factor because they were at a rival school they were brooding dark in the shadows they were at a co 
contrast to rainbow high literally rainbow and then shadows so it was perfect it was perfect they had this whole cooked up plan to go all these characters the dolls um and the the this episode the one where you know the cliffhanger it it's one of the most watched rainbow high episodes ever i i believe in season three it is actually the most watched episode uh with like five million views or something so that is amazing people really went crazy bananas over this reveal and then the shadow high episode specifically after that also did really well um but i feel like as soon as they entered in rainbow vision uh it kind of got blurry and uh not really good blurry you know what i mean but we'll get to that later my third point is also similar in that it has to do with the whole twist of luna and sunny and then also the ainsley twist that we got later on uh these twists we kept getting so first up we got the luna twist right that was at the very beginning uh I, again that was the episode i talked about that had like the most views um now that could have been a great you know way to go throughout season three and that would have worked if rainbow vision had not happened if rainbow vision had not happened and they had focused solely on the rivalry between the two schools without the whole competition going on in between um they could have done something really great with the aspect of luna and sunny being from two different schools that not only optically but also like dynamically rival each other in every possible way um so it could have been something really interesting you know it could have been something fascinating to explore that relationship because we never understood why um or even what the relationship was we know nothing we know nothing <laughs> sunny's like oh yeah i have a twin sister and it's like okay well how do you feel about this twin sister we never get a single conversation between these two characters i'm telling you you don't believe me go watch the episodes yourself we never get not one conversation between these two twin sisters that this whole season three i i even bet you that in the early days in, this, in the writing room season three was going to be about this relationship but i don't know why someone came up with this rainbow vision idea and they just mashed it up all together and they thought it was an awesome idea well it was not because <laughs> this relationship went nowhere um and it's it's a real shame because again this could have been really interesting to explore you know the paths that they had each chosen and why they ended up each in this school and why if does it have anything to do with her being grayscale or is it just paint is it just paint are all the shadow high characters just painted in in gray paint is is that the solution here is that the mystery solved i don't know and then with ainsley you know switching schools it's like okay well is that really even possible like academically speaking like can she just try for schools like that up and away like is miss right gonna like you know seal off on this uh you know switch like what, what, what? girl she just goes up to stage and is like yeah i'm gonna like switch schools because like i'm not feeling rainbow high anymore and like goodbye um she not only goes behind her friend's backs you know the a's but she doesn't even tell them she they find out at the same moment as everyone else does when she goes up on stage and says that she's gonna switch schools in this dramatic reveal now now, I do realize Ainsley was gonna try I was she was trying to tell them earlier but I feel like this twist happened way too quickly like if we had seen her talking to shadow high characters before and you know trying to explain stuff I feel like that could have maybe given us more of a hint that she wants to switch schools and I know some of you are gonna argue that there were hints before you know her her being late to like their entrance in a previous episode that could have been like oh my god she's like a spy or something by the way she was like people thought she was a spy girl she was not a spy she was just like transferring so <laughs> I don't know. I personally feel like if you don't really look for the hints, you would have you would have not seen them. So I really feel like if she had interacted more with the Shadow High characters, I feel like it would have been more clear that this is her intention and also why because we only find out we only find that out later and not in the moment or before. My fourth point is that there there's just too many characters. There were too many characters not only like in the season overall that were already like established, but also just too many new characters in general too many new characters and then starting at episode nine um each episode had some kind of music segment like uh, at least like a little portion of a new song or a whole music segment that will later on get uh posted individually as a you know quote music video for the you know respective song um 
and that's okay i guess it's nice to hear the songs but from a theatrical and your writing standpoint it really just takes up like half of the episode that you could be using to you know reveal more stuff you know um give more writing and time and uh, you know flesh more characters out like you could use this time for the music video you could use this time to flesh out more characters write a proper story look at the plot holes find how you can tie stuff together like no they chose the cheap way out and put in like half a music video uh you know big uh portion and the episode it's just like the music video we don't need them we don't need it we're gonna post them separately anyways right it's like we don't need them in the actual episodes we could get like a little snippet sure but like do we need the whole ass music video in there taking up all that precious runtime that's already short enough as it is no we do not i don't know about y'all but i did not really i mean i appreciate it but like if they're just gonna post it like separately anyways like do we really need them to be in the actual episodes taking up all this runtime not to me they don't um and then also that too many characters again this again if they had if they had the extra time they could have fleshed out more char characters they could have given this time to make characters interact the um certain interactions that we were promised never happened uh like wasn't poppy and delilah supposed to be like writing a song they had like a quick interaction with uh in the writing class where where uh what who was it? natasha she was unable to like write her the end of the song so she went there for help and then like poppy and delilah were in the in the same scene yeah but they didn't even talk like and that's where harper doing what is <laughs> so, it's, just, it's ridiculous they could have used this time to flesh out the characters it's like oh my it's like right there you're, you're you know but they made it so hard and i don't know if it's like a con contract uh, like obligated aspect where they have to show the music video in the episodes to like gain more like attention for the songs that are published you know separately on apple music spotify whatever uh i don't know if like but it would have really made more sense if they had this extra runtime dedicated to more characters fleshing out and like they could have had more series one girlies do stuff you know they could have had more storylines going on and all these storylines that were cramped up together could have had more breathing time like all the romantic portions like all these sabotage portions for the two sets of twins like the assistant like the different brands like tiara remember tiara from the royal tree yeah she never speaks she never speaks we get the most lines out of tessa who is not even the freaking leader tiara is supposed to be like the like the leader of the band and and she speaks barely like again i feel like she shouts out something once in like one of the final episodes um and then minnie poor minnie doesn't even get to shout out something she never speaks at all so this just goes to show you that there were too many characters and then too little runtime at the end there with all the music videos well not only did all those points happen and could have significantly um, made the show less complicated if they were maybe done separately in their own time or separate season but also rainbow vision itself when it did come along got postponed like what two times i understand that this animation stuff takes time but they should have planned that ahead and instead not make us wait like what like a month like a whole month we went without nothing we got like that special for the costume ball which yes was demoted to a freaking special we never got a whole episode surrounding those new characters of demi eliza and uh lola they never appeared again no they did not they appeared in this small special and that's all they got that's all the screen time they got so it's, it's ridiculous so um they could oh my god it's like these problems are so obvious they could have just fixed it and it, it just kept getting worse and then we got this little teaser and I, they post like two teasers of like oh yeah these are the release dates and then they postponed it again like girl how long you're gonna make us wait and then most of us we're we're not even interested anymore we lost interest in that time that they kept pushing it back a lot of us lost interest and i know because the views have also sunken for the episodes themselves people were just not um, that much into it anymore as soon as the you know momentum got lost with all the postponing so this aspect definitely did not help and it definitely caused rainbow vision as a whole to lose view viewers interest uh also in season three which is a shame because again this could have been really 
something. In conclusion, I think that the ending left a lot of loose ends, plot holes. It was incoherent. There was too much going on. And it was just really badly paced, especially at the end there. Like I mentioned, the season started off really strong, had a really promising uh, rivalry dynamic and mystery going on with Project Eclipse. But Project Eclipse never went anywhere unless, you know, they never mentioned that it was like done this is my issue they never communicated that to us they never said oh project eclipse is done we have achieved it they never mentioned it again after like the early episodes which that really makes me feel like they just completely forgot about that whole story i feel like the first half of season three is a completely different story that could have gone somewhere completely different and then the other half is just all rainbow vision and it's a mess so I feel like there was so much potential with Shadow High, the rivalry, Luna, Sunny having this bond that is too much even. Like, we could have explored that. We could have gotten something legendary, but instead we got Rainbow Vision, which is just another wannabe, you know, Eurovision competition knockoff that we've gotten so many times before. So I just, it could have been something great. And that's what bothers me the most because I see the potential. I see what it could have been, but instead we got this and it's just a hot mess and not the good kind of hot mess. Um, so yeah, Luna and Sunny never had a single conversation. I mean it. They never, they never, they were never even in the same shot. They were never in the same show. The two interactions they had at the beginning and at the end of the season, they were in different shots completely. One of them, she waved at Luna. Sunny waved at Luna. And then the other one, she peeked out of the corner and Luna looked at her like, oh, that's Sunny, my twin sister that I never talked to in this whole season. <laughs> so they never, they never spoke a the word. The A's making up also felt very rushed to me. I feel like they almost forgot Aiden and then popped him in the last episode to make up for it. There were too many characters, like I mentioned, and there were also too many romances going on. I love me a good romance, but Amaya, River having a fight. Were they back together? Were they not? Did they ever resolve it? We never found out. Gabriella and Finn, were they going to be a thing ever? They had some cute fl flirtations moments but like did it ever lead anywhere no they're still like not dating i guess and then we had alfie and tessa in, for, for some reason never went anywhere we don't even know who alfie is <laughs> we know nothing about tessa <laughs> we know nothing <laughs> these characters have no development they're the most blandest bland you can get and uh the project and project eclipse i feel like they just completely forgot about that but anyways I feel like I talked so much and ranted and I'm so sorry. <laughs> this, uh, again, these are just my opinions. I hope it was at least entertaining for y'all to hear me try to speak words. <laughs> that, uh, this is so funny. I, I really, season three could have been awesome. It could have focused on a relationship between the twin sisters, Luna and Sunny. It could have focused on romances. It could have only focused on Rainbow Vision and not Shadow High. But I feel like it really tried to do everything at once and it cost everything at the end and it we are left with again a dumpster fire which unfortunately um did not end well i feel like the first half is good but then it lost steam and it became something completely different that we do not that i that completely lost what it was going to be in the first place so very very sad <laughs> but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed y'all know the drill leave a like share comment subscribe all that jazz stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy Kisses.